this tutorial, I will be going over how to create a long red dress on Photoshop. All I really did was purchase a small piece of red fabric from Joanne's fabric, which I wrapped around the subject's body with a safety pin. After taking a few pose shots, I then took the fabric off her body and waved the fabric in front of the camera in all directions, taking around 100 pictures of just the fabric billowing in the wind. The first step in this Photoshop process is to combine several pictures together to create the background landscape composite, and I did that simply by using the Photo Merge tool on Photoshop. And I'm, now I'm just clicking all the layers on and off so you can see how it just comes together. The next step, I'm going to use the spot healing tool. You know, since this fabric was really sheer and transparent, you can see what she's wearing underneath. So I'm using the spot healing tool and also the clone tool to get rid of the lines and stripes that show up underneath the fabric. And I'm just clicking the layer on and off so you can see the difference of that. Now I'm going to use my lasso selection tool to create a selection and I'm going to copy and paste that selection onto the main image, make it larger, and I can't really find a place for this piece of fabric at the moment, this layer, so I'm just going to push it to the top and I'll come back to it a little bit later. Something important to keep in mind when working with see-through fabric is to not stand directly behind it because if you do, like in these couple of pictures, I'll be showing through. And it's still okay because I can still use parts of those photographs in the main image even if I'm standing behind the fabric but it's just better to be out of the fabrics way when you're taking pictures so right now I'm using the lasso selection tool I'm going to copy and paste the selection onto the main image and I'm just gonna keep repeating these steps I'm gonna find all my favorite pictures where I think the fabric looks really cool and has like the best kind of flips and I'm gonna use all those pictures and I'm not even exactly sure if I'm going to use all of them. I'm just going to bring my favorites onto the main picture, spread them all around the canvas, kind of like a puzzle piece. And once I have all my favorite layers on the main image, then I'm going to go through and combine all of them into a dress. And now that I've brought all my favorite layers onto the main picture, it's time to finally put the dress together. It can be helpful to flip your layers if it looks better, the dress looks better that way. Like I just flipped this layer so it's facing the opposite way and it does help to reduce the transparency of your dress layer so it's easier to fit them into place. And I'm just going to keep clicking the layers on and off and see which ones I want to drag around, move around. I just flipped this layer horizontally like I did with the other one. And I'm also going to drag this layer down one so that it appears behind the dress instead of in front of it. So when I'm making a dress picture like this on Photoshop, I'm often doing that a lot. Moving around the layers, bringing some behind, bringing some in front. And since I brought this layer behind, it kind of created these little lines from the layer that was above it. So I'm going to create my layer mask on the layer that was above it and I'm going to erase away so that all the layer can show through of the layer behind it. And I'm using the paintbrush tool to get rid of some of the lines on this layer as well. Now I'm going to go in and move this particular layer around. I think it looks really cool actually and I like the natural shadows that it created on the sand which is going to be very helpful in the Photoshop process. As you can see I just enlarged it and to enlarge a layer, you have to transform it first. On a Mac computer, you're, you would have to hit Command plus T. And then it'll allow you to drag the layer and make it larger. And then I created my layer mask and erased away where I see fit. I just flipped this layer horizontally like I've done with many of the layers so far in this Photoshop process. This layer, I just dragged it behind the dress so it doesn't appear in front. I think it looks better just kind of sticking out behind. And I'm pulling it out to the left, making it a lot larger. Then I'm just going to fix up all the layers a little bit. I'm going to go to this picture. I really like this one even though I'm standing behind it and you can see my body. I'm just going to use the part of the fabric where obviously you can't see my body. Copy and paste it onto the main image rotate it so that the flat side doesn't appear and I'm just gonna put that where I see fit and move it into place where I think it looks pretty good 
and the dress is really starting to come together, I kind of want some more perspective. So I moved closer to the camera as I was taking pictures uh, with the fabric. So this is one of the pictures I'm choosing from that. And I'm using the warp tool just to make that layer a little bit larger. With this layer, I'm going to flip it horizontally, stretch it out, make it like 10 times larger. And I believe I already used this layer, this photo, in the main image, but I'm going to use it again because it's going to cover up where we used it initially anyway. And I'm just going to make that a lot larger as well. I kind of like the rock in the beginning, the rock in front of the picture, but I think it looks better to have a long dress, so we're just going to cover that rock anyways. And just move that where I think it looks best, create my layer mask, and use a paintbrush tool with black paint over white paint to erase away. This is a picture of the sky of the sunset I'm going to use. I just copy and paste it onto the main image after selecting the whole picture. And then I'm going to stretch it out, make it larger, change the blending mode to multiply, then create my layer mask, erase away from the rocks, and then I'm going to paint back in with a paintbrush that's on 50% opacity and 50% fill so that it blends in really nicely the sunset with the rocks behind my subject. I would like more detail in the sky so I'm going to bring up my curves tool and darken just the sky layer. Then I'm going to create a background copy layer and I'm going to use the clone tool because I realized my subject has her feet and her legs sh showing through the transparent fabric and I don't really want that kind of look for this picture. So I'm going to clone other parts of the dress and just get rid of her legs and her feet. And that's me just clicking the layer on and off so you can see the difference. And I think it looks much better like that. So this is what the final image looks like. If you enjoyed this tutorial, found it interesting, or learned anything, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more future tutorials. And if you have any requests for a video you'd like to see or any comments or advice that you'd like to give or make, just leave me a comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial and I'll see you guys for the next one.